Hey. Hi, buddy. Capano, stop. No. Come here, Capano. Come here. This is Kai. Kai, sit. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Kai, this is Capano. Capano. He's gonna poop. Yep. Oh, okay. It's winter out here. He tears up the grass by running on it. And then he was on this stump over here. But there used to be a hook, a metal hook in the middle. And then, um, we, he used to get tangled up. So we decided we would make him a line. Um, yeah. So we decided we'd make him a line because he likes to chase squirrels and jump the fence. He's really bad about it. But yeah, that's my friend, uh, Ryan's dog. It's Kai. He's, a. Uh, we're pretty sure, okay, so he's Lab, and then we think like he's um, either Pitbull or Staffy or like a bully mix. And then we think like Cattle Dog or Australian Shepherd. And then Capano is 50% Belgian Malinois, 25% Tring uh, Walker Coonhound, and then 25% Blue Tick Coonhound. I got him in Bark DNA tested. But yeah, so. They're friends, like, he wasn't neutered when they first met, Kai wasn't, and he was pretty aggressive. Not like aggressive, but he wasn't like, he didn't really know how to play because he didn't play with big dogs, and he can be really like overwhelming at times because he's like confident, dominant. He's not super pushy, but he always wants to play because he's really high drive, and um, he's like, he can be really super pushy, and there's only some dogs that can tolerate him, and he's pretty submissive, but when he wasn't neutered and he still had his balls intact he was like he wasn't really up for playing but now since he got neutered now they're best friends and they're both neutered but yeah he's um he just turned a year and he's about to turn two years in April 2nd but yeah I mean pretty much doing their own thing kind of scared this one's gonna jump the fence always I don't know what he's doing but yeah this is my dirty yard and then people are working on this house right now like the guy who had it before um he never finished like fixing the house he took out a bunch of plumbing and like he took out a huge wall in the house and um yeah so then finally this guy that's been wanting to buy it for years bought it and now they're painting it and redoing the inside but yeah there's actually a lot of houses for sale down here and like they're really nice they redid the insides of them but like nobody's really buying them like this house they redid the inside it's a privacy fence it's all wooden around it and nobody's bought it it's really nice inside it's not even that expensive and then the house across from me like right there across from me um that house has been redone and it's been up for sale for like months and months and nobody's bought it yet come here come on <sighs> he's teasing a man
I have to watch uh, Capano because when dogs run, he gets really excited and he can bite really hard. So, hey, 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 stop. Psst. Slow. Capano. See, that's what I'm talking about. He gets way too crazy. Like, I, this one, my guy, when animals run or like people run, he gets way too crazy. That's why like little kids, I tell them to be really still when they pet him because he loves kids, but when they run, he gets way too crazy. Come here, come here, stop, sit. Be not, ah, uh, nice. There you go, calm. Be calm. Hold on. Sit. Stay. Stay. But yeah. No. He's really like only bad outside. Like inside he's pretty good, he just barks a lot. He's really mouthy, but outside he can't. Like with dogs running, that's why I don't like high running around him. Oh, here we go again. Kai, psst. Oh. This dog is so lucky that Capano's on the leash. Hey! Hey! See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, he's covered in dirt. Oh yeah, good, chase him. He's actually really good when other dogs chase him, but it's when he's chasing other dogs, that's when he's really, really bad. And then I stay out here because um, the only reason I'm staying out here is just to like monitor their behavior because uh, obviously he gets too crazy and he's wearing a collar. But when they're inside, I take off his collar because there's a lot of like stories about dogs jaws like breaking and then one getting choked and then one dying from being choked and then the other one's dog jaw like having to be fixed and replaced and everything. And like, so that's why I take off his uh, collar most of the time. Come here, come. Come. Um.